how do you post a message in multiple channels in Teams? Now, this is great if you've got a special announcement or some sort of special activity happening in your organization and you don't want anybody to miss out. So you can post a message and at the same time distribute it across all of these different channels, no matter which team that channel happens to be in. Let's say that we're organizing a summer barbecue for our organization and we surely need that. The hot weather's coming and I want to arrange it for three teams within my organization. So I'm a member of all three teams, but not everyone in each team is a member of one of the other teams. I want to make sure everybody gets that message. So this means um, that I must create, well, I don't want to create a message and duplicate myself three times. So I want to create this message and just distribute it across all three teams at the same time. So here are the teams in question. So let's just get in. We've got the ice cream development team here. We've got the Office 365 innovation team here, and we have our health and safety team. So we're going to include those. They really deserve it, don't they? Hopefully they won't um, put any water on the fire of the barbecue or anything like that at all. I'm sure they won't. So first thing is because I'm an owner and it's not necessarily the case, but because I'm the owner of the Office 365 innovation team and I can post on that channel and do everything with it, I'm going to put my initial message in the general channel on the 065 innovation team. So I'm going to click on this here and then I'm going to go down to and click on new conversation here at the bottom. So let's just do that. Okay, and now I'm going to start, start typing a message. Now I want to make this very, very interesting. You know, I don't want to just do as a normal message. So what I'm going to do here is you see this button just on the left hand side. When I hover over that button, in fact, it comes up and says nothing, absolutely nothing. There we go, format. So what happens when I click that button, it expands the message and I can type in lots of fancy formatting, put in numbers and bullets, etc. Look, makes it look really good. Now, in fact, there's a nice shortcut. If you feel that you're going to do this a lot, it's control, shift and X. So control, shift and X allows us to just expand that message. So that's great. Let me just zoom back a touch and let me just actually I'll zoom back completely and we'll just type in our message. So what's our message going to be? Uh, it's going to read um, it's BBQ time. There we go. Just press enter to bring that one down the line. Oops, oh sorry, tab, I'm going to move down a line there. And we go, that's right. Oops, if I can spell, there we go. Exabyte laser. It's time to enjoy uh, the sun and get out the flip flops. And par oh, party, here we go. Excellent, and you know what? I'm just going to put in a little animation here um, at this time. Let's have a look. This is a really good feature we can put in the animations and I'm just going to type in party, look for a party. That looks a good one. So I'm going to click on that. Brilliant. That's good. I'm going to down, go live. There will be, and then I'm going to make a bullet list here. So you can see I've got a nice bullet list button at the top. So I'll click on this. Uh, sumptuous, sumptuous. Ooh, if I can spell it. I think that looks right. Uh, Wow, I should have chosen an easier spelling word. Sumptuous food, live music, um, water volleyball in the company, company swimming pool. That's it, fireworks and cocktails. So it looks great. So it's August 20th. That's it, uh, 2021, of course, uh, 4 p.m. Uh, till late. There we go. Brilliant. So that's the message there. Now, what I want to do here is, you know what, I want to beef this one up a bit. So what I'm going to do is at the top, you can see here, it says it's a new conversation. So what I want to put do is put a banner at the top. So it makes it really memorable. So what I can do is change it from a conversation on this drop down list and choose announcement. So when I click on announcement, I get an opportunity to put a headline across the top. So what I'm going to do um, is type in BBQ uh, time. There we go. And I can change my colors over here on this right hand side here. You can see I've got this little button. I can choose maybe a barbecue type color, which looks good. But you know what? I've got that red checked tablecloth. I think barbecues really just should have red checked tablecloths. I think it goes with the territory. So I'm going to click on the button just to the right over here. 
uh, and then I'm going to upload a picky. So if I click on this button on the right here, there we go. And I'm going to then click on upload an image that you can see just here. And then I'm going to choose a picture. So it's come up to the pictures here. Let me just go all the way down. And this is the one here. The tablecloth looks good. So I'm just going to double click and that will upload a tablecloth. I can adjust it or make it a little larger if I want to. Let me just zoom back. That's fine. Click on done. There we go. So I've got a nice little checked uh, tablecloth background. Hopefully it's memorable. Hopefully people will want to come. Now it's time to post this in multiple channels. So let's get going with this one. So as you can see at the top, there's a button that says post in multiple channels. So let's give that one a click. And there we go. And you can see here it's in the office innovation team just at the top. But I also want to point post it in the what I said there, the ice cream development and the poor old people in the health and safety team. So if you work in health and safety out there, I'm sure you have a really exciting time. All right. So we're going to go to select channels just over here on the right hand side. And it's giving me the option to find the channel so I can search for them there. Let's do health and safety first. There we go. That's the one. I uh, put it in this one here and I want the ice cream development. So I'm going to put ice cream development. Uh, there we go. This one here on a post in that channel and go to updates. And then as you can see now at the top, I have my three channels across three separate teams. That's a great way of posting out uh, a message. So let's um, have a look, post the message and see what happens. Now I can post the message just by using this little um, paper airplane or that in the bottom, which is fine. Shortcut key, if I'm happen to be in this message, is control and enter. So control and enter allows me to post the message. You can see that the message is sending and everyone's been invited to the barbecue. Brilliant. We're all really looking forward to that. Let's have a check to see in the other channels how that looks. So I'm going to go to ice cream development and here we can see, there we go. I've got this is barbecue time here and I can click on this message and have a look and I have to press play for this video here. That's great. I can see that. And even the people in health and safety can see this uh, as well. So now we need to update. We need to remind people to bring their swimming cozy. Yeah. So I'm going to go back into the Office 365 innovation team just here. I'm going to click on this message um, just here at the top and I go to the top ellipsis. This can be a bit fiddly if you want to come and edit the message just there. So I'm just going to click on that ellipsis just at the top just here. I'm going to go down to and click on edit. Uh, where's my message here? There we go. So let me just click on the message. I'm going to go over the, up to where it says water volleyball in the swimming pool. And I'm going to hold down shift and enter just to bring that due to an, a new line and then type in uh, my message. Remember to bring your uh, costume, swimming costume. Costume. There we go. Brilliant. I uh, want to update that. Control and enter. Message is updated. There we go. And that will be updated across all of the other channels. If I look at the ice cream development one, I can see this is updated as well there. It's all looking really good. All right. So now we found out that we have to cancel this barbecue. Oh my goodness. I don't know what it was. I don't want to blame the health and safety team. Maybe they've got something to do with it. I'm not sure. But how do we delete this message on and delete it across all of the channels? Well, if we go to our Office 365 innovation and click on this and see the general, click on our um, message here and go up to our ellipsis in the top right hand corner just here. That's great. I'm going to go down to and click on delete. And when I do so, I get this message appear um, where it says delete this message. Make sure that delete this message from three channels because we posted this into three channels is ticked. Most important. And then I'm going to click yes, delete. So click on yes, delete. And then that message has gone. We can see this message has been deleted. And <laughs> these are the other ones I've done in my practice runs. Uh, and if I look at the other um, teams and the other channels, I can see that my barbecue message has, uh, has gone. Oh, there's no barbecue anymore. Ah! So there you have it. That's how you can post across multiple channels in Teams at the same time. And of course, those channels can be in separate teams, especially good if you want to post an announcement to keep people in your organization informed. So if you've got anything out of this tutorial, make sure you give us a thumbs up. I'd really appreciate that. Uh, and if you've really been enjoying all of the Teams tutorials and videos, but also the other ones that we produce at Computer Tutoring, then please don't forget to subscribe and click on that notifications button so you don't miss a thing. And if you're hanging around in Instagram or Facebook or Twitter, 
then give us a shout out. We'd love to hear from you. Great, I think that's about everything. So I just want to say thank you so much for watching. <laughs>